to my Aries, 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 Aries. I see you and somebody building a nice, nice nest egg together in business and or in love. Happy Motivational Monday. You may be watching this video Sunday the 11th, but this video is for the 12th of February through the 12th of March. This is still the year of wealth, right? We're not talking about just money wealth, right? So you have a lot of ideas that's trying to come through. And so um, make good use of those ideas. Let's do it. The energy has already been cleared. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. Third eye, wide open. Wide open. Something is closed out and source is actually rewarding you for cutting ties with something, right? Here we have the Ace of Wands, right? It could be a fire sign that you cut in ties with. Here we have the Prince, uh, Princess of Swords. Um, here we have Madre Tierra. Somebody has gone around and around and around with something and finally decided I'm cutting ties with some energies and I'm getting my rest. Here we also have the Chariot card. And I definitely see somebody, you know, focusing on getting married in business and or in love. Some kind of contractual agreement I see coming across your path, Aries. So good. Here we have the Eight of Wands. So here we have the Eight of Wands. Sources saying, hey, look, you're getting now that you're in the light about some things. Somebody says, I'm getting my rest. Here we have the Four of Swords. So somebody says, I'm in the light about some things. I need to get my rest. I need to stop overthinking it and just move on. So... Third eye is definitely open. So somebody is definitely saying, okay, um, I'm taking the high road. I'm going ahead and just cutting ties. I'm leaving some bridges burned. And um, and again, I'm, I'm moving forward. So moving forward. The world card. Here we also have the wheel of fortune. World card came out twice. Wheel of fortune came out twice. Chariot card came out twice. The sun card and also the sun card, right? So one of the things, looking at the world card, came out twice. Margaret is here. It came out twice. So two things in particular where you just said, I've gone around and around and around in my mind. I had all kinds of ideas about things. And I need to just go ahead and move on from this, right? And Source is actually rewarding you. The chariot card came out twice. But then Wheel of Fortune came out twice as well, right? Somebody actually feels... Um, fortunate to just really just be able to move on from some things and also focusing on your purpose so moving forward i feel like you with somebody they feel just as lucky to have found you in business and or in love you all are both operating in your purpose you all have the same mindset when it comes to you know marriage and business and or in love you are both closing out cycles there's just so much in common so source is saying now you're both in the light about what <clears throat> what motivates, what's, what inspires you, you know, um, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. So this is, this is all good, Aries. All of this is good. That's why so it says, just get your rest. Just get your rest. In this new moon phase, get your rest. Relax. Get your rest. Here we have the strength card. I definitely see with this strength card here, somebody is no longer just being reactive just because something feels like, okay, this is great. I need to get away from reactive energy. I'm slowing down. I'm more of my healthy feminine energy. I'm wearing the dark and the light of things moving forward, and I'll make some decisions from there. You know, so, but I definitely see just reacting to things in a positive or negative way has completely gone away. Because I feel like when people may have reacted in the past, <clears throat> you could have put yourself right into a nightmare without, you know, just moving too fast. And, but, but move, but now I see somebody saying, you know, I feel liberated and free from some things in the past. You know, more compassion for yourself, drinking from your own cup of compassion for self. Like, let me slow down. Let me get in some healthy feminine energy, right? I feel free and I feel a little bit more versatile now. Um, and I don't feel like I'm, um, you know, being, you know, bullheaded and stubborn when it comes to things. I need to slow down. Here we have the eight of wands. The sooner you can get away from the burnout, the stress, the confusion from the past, you and them, <clears throat> and you start tapping into all of these gifts that were tapped, that, that was uh, passed down to you. Somebody's on the maternal side, somebody passed down a lot of gifts and talents. We have six here. Somebody passed down a lot of gifts and talents. Maybe you're a painter, maybe you're a singer, maybe you are an uh, artist in some way, shape, form, or fashion, but a lot of gifts were passed down to you. And so it's just trying to help somebody to make good use of those gifts, you know, instead of, you know, allowing those that time to be 
you know, um, <clears throat> excuse me, manipulated where you have now you're putting all your ideas about why people are manipulating your emotions and what happened and so on and so forth. Somebody is definitely putting it in this right here. We have growing your money, planting seeds and growing your money so that you can, you can use those, I put those ideas to good use in these resources that you're going to use. I see helping other people change their lives for the better. So yeah, this is good. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. We also have the Eight of Swords. Here we have the Sun card. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Justice card, you know, as well. I definitely see if somebody overthought some things, staying in it, trying to overthink, it would have drive, driven somebody crazy. Like you feel like, you know, um, it felt like somebody was like, you know, but you had to remove some things off of your internal scales. That's what I'm seeing here. These two cards right here are ruled by... Um, these two cards right here are ruled by Venus. When you decided, hey, I need to stop carrying other people's uh, ideas. I need to stop carrying other people's hurt and pain. I need to stop carrying other people's negativity. Then I need uh, and, then, and get away from that. And I start getting locked in and laser focused on some things. We have um, <clears throat> Knight of Swords and Eight of Swords. Source kept telling somebody to walk away from two types of situations in particular, like leave it alone, move on, get away from certain types of situations. And so being in your light is going to help you to really heal. Somebody's definitely going to be doing some sunbathing as you are moving to, you know, adjusting your crown and also moving towards financial independence is what I'm seeing for you all. So, yeah. Continue adjusting your crown, Aries, both in, you know, your, you know, your situation um, as you continue to move on from just like closing out. So either somebody's closing out a marriage or somebody is just closing out, um, you know, the idea of getting married to somebody as somebody is moving forward to, um, you know, possibly being in a marriage. And when I use marriage, I'm specifically talking about business and or in love, right? Not just always love situation. So, yeah. All right, let's close it out, Aries. Let's go ahead and close it out. Let's go ahead and close it out. Let's go ahead and close it out. You made a positive impact on somebody. So that's that's what Source wants you to know is that, you know, whoever it is, you made a positive impact on some energies. But again, somebody absolutely has to know if this is disrupting my peace, that's why you have the Justice and the Hierophant card. If something is disrupting my peace, the sooner I can cut ties with it, the better off I'll be. The better off I can move on. I can, I can. The sooner I can move away from that, the sooner I can move towards what is adding to my peace and away from what's taking away from my peace. So hopefully that makes sense to somebody. Yep, here we have success. I attract success by being my authentic self. Yep, by being my authentic self. So, yep. <clears throat> By being my authentic self. Affirmations for strength. So all obstacles in my path are being cleared. I am stronger than yesterday. I am brave. I am courageous. I learn from my mistakes. Failure is a farce. All effort is testing. I rise above all that stands in my way. Improvement is my only concern. Right? So somebody may have felt like, you know, um, this is, this is again, you're on the rebirth side. You didn't fail anything. Somebody is just, again, learning lessons about themselves as you continue to move forward. But I definitely see somebody going to be very, very happy, you know, um, moving forward. And um, you're making positive impacts on people wherever you go. So, but to stay in something, like I said before, overthinking it would drive somebody crazy. When sources say two types of situations in particular, sources have been trying to tell somebody to move on from, so... Here we have 21, the queen. That's right. So somebody needs to, like I said, it's like we have the queen of pentacles here. So it's just saying adjust your crown. The queen energy is like somebody who is down to earth and really relatable, right? So, and I'm talking to men and women. People see you as, they see you as an asset to their lives. They like the fact that you're down to earth, that you're relatable, that you are a person that, like I said, somebody prayed for you. Somebody, somebody really, really likes your energy. They like your positive energy. They like what you stand for, Aries. And so the past is, so I see somebody leaving, moving in the past, whether they see you, they see you, somebody you pray for in business or pray for in love, but somebody prayed for you. 
and um, and their prayers are being answered. So they're trying to get as far away from something they closed out in the past as you are trying to get away from something that you closed out in the past. So it doesn't drive somebody crazy, you know, just trying to think about it. But that's what I have for you. I will see you all on in the next video. All right. Happy new moon. Bye.